Dragonfly Art Studio, Pat Gallette here, and I just want to say a few things about where I think I'm coming from here, about why I think art is so important. Oh, are we on? Why I think art is so important to us today. You know, here we are in the middle of this pandemic, and it's like we're on the beach, we're fighting the war, it's like a big Marvel comic movie, but it's not a comedy. And it's like we're facing this invisible threat. And what am I thinking to say? We need art now. Where does art fit in in all of this? Well, let me just say a few things here. First of all, everything you think, everything you focus on, wherever you put your attention, affects your entire body. It affects your healing. It affects your immune system. It affects your feelings. You know, I've been talking about the heart brain and the gut brain. I mean, what you are emotionally feeling affects those two areas especially and comes back into the brain. You know, the head brain. I'm telling you, if you don't want to dwell out there for too long, this is not your place. This is not where you have power, you know. It affects your body, and, and it, you're choosing whether you want to live in confrontation, uh, anger, or pissed off, or whatever, <clears throat> or do you want to come back home into yourself to art? Because this inner journey, oh, there we go. This inner journey is all about inner peace, Finding some calmness within yourself. This is a very, very healthy place to be. Okay, that's one. Number two, <clears throat> when you do art, it puts you in a different mindset. Out there is all thinking, you know? And I find myself thinking too much about art. When I think about it so much, it keeps, I keep going in circles. You know, I keep telling myself the same stories. And thinking is so different than doing. When you do art, it changes your whole mindset. You're not thinking anymore. Now you're into it. You've made some marks. Well, now where do I go? What do I do next? What colors draw me in? You know, turquoise has always been my healing color. And I am thinking a lot about like lavender skies, but turquoise is my color for healing. And so you'll find it in a lot of my art these days water, turquoise, all those things. That's where art becomes personal and meaningful and makes a difference for you and what you're doing. And that's, that's what I'm always saying. That's what you need to do, make meaningful art. So it puts you in a different mindset. Uh, you are thinking, what composition, what balance is there, what colors, what mixing, you know, and all that. So that's number two. <laughs> Number three, there are as many opinions out there as there are people. It's always been that way. Everyone's just much more vocal these days. Everyone is finding things that really uh, hit them deeply. And so they keep sharing <laughs> their opinions. Okay, you've got an opinion, all right? You're not going to change anybody else's opinion because everyone is on their own path, okay? They're having their oh my god moments and they're facing what they feel is like the most important thing, you know, in their life today. And it is. And it absolutely is. But that's not your thing, you know. You don't have to make it your thing. You don't have to take on everybody's thing. Accept them. Let them go and accept them. They are on a path of discovery. You are on a path of discovering yourself. You make the choice here. Don't be out there and, you know, getting involved. Take a step back instead of, you know, confronting or anything like that. Um, be the observer. Become the observer. Take the inner journey within and come back to art. That's where you have power. That's your home. That's your place to be. So come back to art. Let them go on their path. Let them discover themselves because the world is in the biggest clearing and healing mode 
it has ever been in probably in thousands of years. Things are happening and you just have to let them happen. We're not going back to where we used to be, you know. I have a lot of friends who just want to travel. Well, that's not today. Art brings you into today, right? We're not living in the future. You gotta let the past go, but today is all that matters. Art brings you into today. It brings in you, you into what you feel and what you're thinking, all right? That's where your power lies. That's what's important, all right? Um, Art has always saved me. Uh, the only one you can take care of is yourself. And when I have been in my darkest times, when I look back in Chicago, I drive myself downtown and I hang out at the Art Institute. I surround myself with wonderful art. I'd wander through the halls. Um, seeing art, seeing others do art, really is a peaceful, calming way to live. But Doing art yourself is where the magic lies. That's where you change everything. That's the game changer, all right? And you can do that today. You can start today. You know, the big secret here that people say is the secret to art is doing it. When you do it, when you make your mark, when you mix your paints, when you get it out there, everything shifts everything changes and that's where you want to live that's where you want to be it creates a whole different inner um, feeling it calms down your emotions it creates a whole different energy in your whole body and that's a healthy place to be so for your own health for your own healing for your own well-being uh, for your own happiness that's why I say come back to earth you know, choose art, come back to art. With my art and mentorship program, I'm going to be opening the doors on Monday, new moon day, fresh new start. And if you'd like to have some inspiration and art lessons every week, that's the place to be. Come on over to awgroup.net and see what we're doing. Hang out there, give it a try. You know, you need to learn skills. You need to know how to do meaningful art. And you need a good community to support you. Those three things and you will flourish. In this world, even in a pandemic, even in the all the upsets of the chaos of the world, come into yourself. That's your inner peaceful land. Hope to see you there. Thanks so much for being here. And with that, now I'm gonna go and do some art. And we'll see if my turquoise comes into this painting. And I'll be sharing that with you a little later. Thanks for being here. Bye for now.